In this video, we are going to see how to create ClickUp tasks from new Google Form responses. So every time a new response is received through any form builder application, here we have taken the example of Google Form, then with the response received, the information that you have received, you want to create a task in ClickUp, which is a task management software. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application is Google Forms and your action application is ClickUp. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up, it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do that, we have reached a dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And another dialog box has appeared, which is asking me to name this workflow. Now you can give any random name to this workflow. What is my objective here? My objective is that every time a new response is received, after like I filled up a form in Google Forms, then with the information received, I should be able to create a task in ClickUp. So I'm going to name it as create ClickUp tasks from new Google Forms responses. Let's click on create. Now, as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your triggered application. Now, as per this integration, my triggered application will be Google Forms. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here would be new response received. So here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Forms with Pabli Connect. And now we have to follow the following steps. This is the help desk given. I'm going to copy this and show you what exactly you have to do. So first I'm going to take you to the Google form that I have created. Okay. So here you can see that there are a few forms that I've created. This is the new task form. And here I've got the following fields, task name, task description, then start date and due date. The last field here, you can see this required field has been toggled towards the right. This is set on. Why? Because the moment this last field is filled then automatically the response would be received. Now we have to go to responses, go to the three dots. Here we have to select the destination for responses. We are given two options, create a new spreadsheet or select an existing spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead with creating a new spreadsheet. Let's click on create. And here you can see that the spreadsheet has been linked. Now let's view in sheets. As I do that here, you would be able to see that this sheet contains all the fields that were there in our Google form, including timestamp, which is going to record the date and time of the response received. I'm going to quickly format this so that this is absolutely clearly visible to you. Okay, so once this is done, now I'm going to go back to Google Forms, go to preview, and here I'm going to fill up this form. So let's say the task name here is appraisal review now the task description is percentage to be finalized then we have the start date so let's say the start date is 17th of february and the due date is also 17th of february i'm going to click on submit as i do that here it is saying that the response has been recorded let's go to the google sheet and you can see that the response has been received here Okay, so once we have received this, now we have to go to extensions, go to add ons, get add ons. And here you can see we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Let's look for Pabli Connect webhooks. Here it is. And this particular application has already been installed on my system. So please install this on your system. Once you do that, close this window and refresh this page. This is absolutely necessary. And once you do that, wait for a few seconds. Then we are supposed to go back to extensions. And here you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks. 
let's go to initial setup here and here you can see that this particular window has opened the sheet has already been selected now this webhook url that we had received through pably connect i'm going to copy this and paste this over here next is the trigger column now the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added and as per the sheet the final data column is column e so i'm going to mention e here click on send test so as i do that here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully let's click on submit and the configuration is all set i'm going to close this go back to extensions public connect webhooks here you can see send on event we have to click on this so that this can be checked because if it is not then we wouldn't receive the response so once this is checked you couldn't see a tick mark right in front once this is done i'm going to take you back to public connect to see if we have received the response and yes here it is so this is our trigger column the timestamp task description then we have task name start date spreadsheet name spreadsheet id then sheet name sheet id row index and due date once we have received this what do i want i want to create a task in clickup with the information received so my action application here would be clickup let's click on this and the action event here would be create task let's click on connect here pably connect is asking to connect itself with a clickup account i'm going to click on add new connection now to set up this connection we need the api token and how can we receive that first we have to log in to the clickup account i have already logged in and then we have to go to profile icon there we have to go to apps so this is my clickup account and here this is the profile and you can see applications here and this here is the api token i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here let's click on save to set up this connection and we can see that clickup is now connected with public connect now here we have to map this information the workspace space then the folder name list name task name description assignee id tags priority due date etc how can we do that first i'm going to take you to the clickup account and here let's go back so you can see that here you know a lot of spaces have already been created like integrations testing folder issues public connect etc now i wish to add this to public connect and within public connect there is a space which is integration issue okay so we have got integration issue this is the list now i'm going to take you back to public connect and here first of all this is the workspace what is the workspace ashi's workspace okay this has already been taken by the system now the space so what is the space that i wish to add which is public so the folders name here this integration okay so here we have different folder uh, folders i'm going to go to public connect so within this folder there is only one list which is integration issue we just saw that now the task name how do i map this so as i click on this it is showing me the previous response and here is the response that we had received now this is the name of the task appraisal review then we have the description so again here is the description now this process is known as mapping why is it important so that every time the data is received so it can take the new data into consideration if i had written this manually so every time the workflow would have done only manually written data would have been taken into consideration no new data that is why mapping is important now the assignee's id so here i have got few members you can see in the drop down let's say that i want to go ahead with ashi then we have the tags so either you can provide a new tag or you can just write a random tag i'm just going to leave this blank now the priority so the task that i'm creating it's a high priority task next we have is due date so here we can see that the due date is supposed to be entered in milliseconds which basically means that i have to format this date because the date that we have received here is in a simple month date and year format so i'm going to click on this add another action step this time i'm going to choose a feature by pably which is date time formatter and the action event here would be to format date with time zone let's click on connect and now the date first of all the date to be mapped is this is the start date okay now what is the from format this is very simple month date and year now what is the format that i want it to be in milliseconds for this i'm going to go down and here is the millisecond format now i'm going to choose utc format here 
यू टी सी फॉर्मेट इज बेसिकली इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम प्लस फाइव एंड हाफ आवर्स सो प्लीज चूज दिस इन यू टी सी एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव रिसीव द रिस्पॉन्स नाउ एम गोइंग टू रिपीट द स्टेप फॉर ड्यू डेट सो हेयर अगेन द एप्लीकेशन इज डेट टाइम फॉर मैटर एंड द एक्शन इवेंट इज फॉर मैट डेट विद टाइम जोन लेट्स क्लिक ऑन कनेक्ट लेट्स मैप द डेट विच इज द ड्यू डेट देन द फ्रॉम फॉर्मैट हेयर इज मंथ डेट एंड ईयर then the two format that i want is in milliseconds so let's go down this is the millisecond from time zone is utc let's click on this and two time zone is again utc let's click on this click on save and send test request so we have received this information now i'm going to go down go to click up i'm going to refresh this connection by selecting the existing connection and here i'm going to map the due date so the due date here would be step 3 and then we have the start date which is step 2 so we have received this information now the status what is the status it is to do it's not a complete task it is still in process i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the api response according to which a task must be now created in click up so let's go to click up and here i'm going to quickly refresh this page and here you can see that we have received the task so appraisal review is the task let's quickly check so the description is percentage to be finalized the priority which is high what whom is it assigned to you so we have received this information this is the start date and due date this is the created date this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check this in real time so i'm going to go back to google form and submit another response let's say this time the task name is team meeting okay let me correct the spelling here okay now the task description is meeting on team outing sounds fun then we have the start date so what is the start date this is 28th of february and what is the due date 22nd of february let's click on submit and as soon as i do that let's go back as soon as this is done let's go back to click up i'm going to close this and refresh this page and you can see that another task has been created again this is the description then we have here the due date start date and the created date priority is set as high so i hope this is absolutely clear to you let's go back to public connect and understand what we have done so here our trigger application is google form where the event is new response received and our action application here is click up where we had the event as create task since we had to change the date time format so we had chosen a feature by pabli date time format oh and that is it i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using pabli connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com/connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.